Somebody call a doctor because Bad Medicine is back. Over there is Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we are taking a look at the fall of the House of Usher. This is episode three, Murder in the Rue Morgue. Now, this show has been just awesome. We're only two episodes in. It's already my favorite in the whole Flaniverse. So I'm just excited to get to it. TM. Uh, yeah, this has been a great, pleasant surprise for me coming into the Flaniverse. Uh, we already saw one one good uh, 86th, so I'm ready, willing, and able to see who's next on the chopping block. Well, the ending of the last episode was anything but pleasant, <laughs> uh, if, if I may say so. Gooey. Um, yeah, gooey would be a good word. Um, but it, look, it, this this is everything we thought it would be from Mike Flanagan. I know we're only two episodes in, but it came out just incredible. Excited to see where this goes. Looking forward to it. Let's go! <laughs> Haven't even processed it. You guys are still kicking their guts right now. Oh my God! I believe it. I don't care who you know uptown. You don't remove anything from the crime scene. Chief says you got ten minutes, and then we're coming in. Oh, no more time. They're letting them go in and play cleanup for the. Oh no! Well, he's got plastic clothes. Yeah. Oh. oh. So. I think he was breathing heavy so he could hold his breath. <laughs> oh. Oh my God! So, All right. I'm wondering what he's gonna grab. Some kind of evidence. I think he's gonna grab him. Uh, P. Uh, Perry. 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 <laughs> mm, the wife. She has to come out of nowhere, right? Oh, all oh, cameras. That's what he's looking for. I don't know why I'm guessing because I always get it wrong. And well, he, 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 wants, he is. Uh, yeah, he wants to know if there's recordings. I mean, because if there's no eyewitnesses, who who was there? Yeah. I mean, everything else can be covered up, but if there's video evidence, that's pretty damning. That's we he definitely that's weird because that was obviously put on post mortem. Cell phone didn't even get uh, touched. Uh, yep. I'm surprised Apple allowed a villain. Own. You usually villains don't use Apple products. Oh, uh, was he technically a villain? Oh, oh my God. Okay, that got me. Oh, God. Oh, no, she did get she it. She did stay. We got a survivor in here. See, he tied into tanks on the roof, but they weren't there to hold fresh water. We repurposed them when we closed the lab. Just yep. tuck some unfortunate material away to avoid the EPA fines. The idea was come back for it when no one was looking and dump it. Just... <laughs> Oh. Less than legal development process and absolutely in violation of multiple environmental regulations. But we couldn't, we had to keep it. We couldn't ship it out because it was so fing corrosive and we shouldn't have had it at all. And the fines would have come with charges. So it was bad. And those tanks, they were barely up to the task. It was already eating through the tanks and the pipes. <laughs> That's why it dripped on his phone. Yep. There's one thing in there that doesn't drive with the. Horrible, tragic accident story. So you caught that, did you? Go ahead. What? Say it. The wait stuff. Mm, they got they out. They left. Why did they all leave at the same time, just before? They knew. Then someone set this up. How many dead? 78. Oh. Perry was in the wrong place at the wrong time. We got the footage from the cameras. He set up cameras. My guys are scrubbing them now. If anyone there isn't who they seem, I'll find out. I'm on everybody. Uh, will, will she be picked up by camera? Or is she staying, like, in the shadows? Yeah. What is happening? We need to talk, because when people ask, there are some things you absolutely cannot say. That's terrible. Oh, it makes everything worse at once. The investigations, the lawsuits. In trial, it all gets juiced. <sighs> Doesn't even care about her brother. Brother just nope. died. Half brother. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing stuff is your bread and butter, and Perry throws an underground party at a condemned Fortnado building, and you didn't know about it? No, he didn't invite his sister to the orgy. Just his sister in law? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two dozen memorial profile pieces to start. I, uh, Perry Usher, America's son, America's fallen prince. Oh my God. Hey, remember that time that Perry drove a college friend to rehab? Jesus. Or no, um, yeah. he's like breaking down. 
Yeah, that's why we have a charity wink, dummy, so you can paste someone's face on it. We remember that yep. he did it. <laughs> Holy shit. The Usher family feels lost, just like anybody else. People are losing loved ones to opioids. We know what loss is. We grieve with you. You grieve with us. She's a pro. Wow. We have a week. Seconds count. I am running out of time. I've wasted too much time already. Okay, you're up. You wonder why people have <laughs> This opportunity doesn't give a f what you're going through. That's why they hate us, because we grabbed the opportunity, but because they didn't. Well, oh, what so a scene that was. There's... That is like a boardroom scene Oscar worthy yeah. right there. I know it's a TV show. They don't do Oscars, but Emmy worthy, whatever. Yeah, they're Fuck the E-plus. You don't need eight months to take a building now. You need a few thousand bucks and somebody who will do the job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, honey. It's okay. Yeah, don't go look at your mom. In the past year, nearly 50 thousand people have died from overdosing oh. on Fortunato painkillers and justice must be served. Are you saying that Prospero Usher's death is justice? There it is. Oh. And that is why I love Fox. Send the prosecutor an edible arrangement. <laughs> More days of good <laughs> Do you actually want me to send him an edible arrangement? <laughs> She's so <laughs> Edible arrangements are what you send to people you hate. So yes. <laughs> Chimpanzee dies on the table. Rumor is she pulls another. Shaves his chest, makes an identical incision, even stitches oh. it up. And claims that the animal survived. Because she's got to get the time right. frame for the old man. Yep. There's been some jokes about her lining the inside of her Birkin bag with plastic and taking the pieces to an incinerator. Wow. Holy um, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow, that's even making her seem uneasy. That's crazy. We're really sorry for your loss. She's so she disconnected. didn't even know what they were talking about. So disconnected, desensitized to everything. Mm -hmm. But it is about. Camille has been an absolute beast this episode so far, though. Even in the first couple of minutes. Two more to see, and then I'm all yours. Longer down. Stay here. Drink your tea. Probably works. twenty minutes. Thirty tops. I'm not trusting anything. No, yeah, not okay, anything. <laughs> yeah. It's. You know, it's tough. Bottle of water. If she's doing this shady stuff, it's so hard because in uh, Bly Manor, she was such a lovable character. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, a little panic attack finally from all the pressure of everything. Uh, she didn't hold still, this is for sure. She's just going to get some tea. Oh, 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 oh boy. I'm all turned around. I was supposed to give this to the receptionist, but she's gone and I, I can't find anybody. Oh, the Southern accent. Yeah. I don't care who knows about my heart issues, but I'd hate for them to see my social security number. Human trials. Mm -hmm. We really are in the right place because don't you always me she's, she's the best. But why don't I take you to her office? Make sure your paperwork gets to the top of her pile. That'd be wonderful. Right, and you, you all right? Yeah, I just have a regular heartbeat. I'm gonna tell her all the symptoms she needs to hear. Yep. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> wow. Just what she needed to drop yep. right into her lap. It's gonna be everything, isn't it? Yeah, yep. that's gonna be <laughs> everything she needs. It's gonna be the perfect patient. Yep. Who is this? Of course. Uh, Nostradamus oh. is over here. Harry's dead. The family's... F you're the front line of my PR campaign, and you just took an edible? You want some? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I want some. <laughs> whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Easy tiger. How old were you when you met the old man? 18. I was 20. Oh, thank oh. you. I love you. Leo loves you too. He says you're getting engaged. Did he mean it, or is it just uh, edibles in the pot and the speed and the wine and the coke? And the... <laughs> <laughs> nice little cocktail he's got going. Roderick is this Roderick Usher cover band, and he's playing the hits, but it's sort of off key. And Tammy is basically just goop with like a big golden bug sticker on it, and it's not even her face on the product. It's, it's built. built. <laughs> 
heart mesh isn't even her heart mesh. It's the surgeon's heart mesh. That's why she's being the surgeon. And you're like this amazing, I don't know, like Xbox Gatsby. No. I just <laughs> Wow. <spin. laughs> this is, we're getting the scene. No cut, straight going. Yep. And I'm like a ceiling fan. And I spin and I spin and I spin and I don't go anywhere. Ushers don't make stuff. None of them. Uh, nice. Good job, Katie. Having a little party. Take the mind of things since what Perry would have wanted. Yes, that's my cue to go. Tomorrow morning, I need you to. Please. I need you to nail it. You're my opening volley. Oh, is she going to be okay to uh, travel home? Yeah, I think we're going to get one per episode here for a yeah, minute. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she has a driver. Hey, Leo. Hey. I brought some Monty. Oh. You want some Monty? Death was something new for my children. They really. Hadn't faced it. Or is he ODing tonight? Um, no, I think it no. goes to each one. Yeah. First, you roll out a multimedia campaign to convince people lemons are incredibly scarce, which only works if you stockpile lemons, control the supply, then a, a media blitz. Lemons are the only way to say I love you, the must have accessory for engagements or anniversaries. <laughs> I'm loving the music too in the background. Lemons are in, billboards that say she won't have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Little accent over the O, you charge 40% more for organic lemons, 50% more for conflict free lemons. Pack the capital with lemon lobbyists, you get a Kardashian to suck a lemon wedge and leak sex tape. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet wears lemon shoes at <laughs> Did you see that movie? Did you go to that concert? It was effing lemon. Simple as that. Eilish. OMG, hashtag lemon. You get Dr. Oz to recommend four lemons a day. <laughs> Ooh, they just went after Dr. Oz. You get those seeds circulating in the wild, and then you sue the farmers for copyright infringement when that genetic code shows up on their land. Sit back, rake in the millions, and then when you're done and you've sold your lempire for a few billion dollars, then and only then you make some fucking lemonade. Oh, dialogue wow. is so good at Wow. This. So we got Katie, we got him. <laughs> Crushing it. Perry had some interesting drugs in his system. In fact, his autopsy toxicology report said he had Monty in his system. Didn't bother to make lemonade out of that one, did you? What the fuck is Monty? It's a street engineered derivative of ligadone, your drug in his system. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My attorney, Arthur Pym, is protective. And he's very, very good. As you know, he obliterated your case. So is he starting oh. to feel it? Oh. What is it? Oh, oh there's, there's hands. hands on his shoulders. Oh, oh is that Camille? No, it's uh, uh, Katie, but uh, God, so bad at the character names. I know the names, but that was her that did that the, the yeah. PR uh, talk. Yeah, Camille. Camille, yeah. Camille, thank you. Yeah. It's interesting. Maybe you're right, because, Dave, maybe. because Verna wasn't with her. Verna was. Well, we haven't seen it finished yet, right? That's so, true. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm body. pretty I'm sure she's not going to be just at one down. place at a time. Like six happen in what two weeks? Yeah. Like you assume the chemist isn't lying about the addictive properties. You assume your company will act ethically with your pitch. You assume. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to come because the build up. Yep. Yeah. I didn't design the drug. Look at all. It's not Roderick. Me. You said you killed Perry, not me. Not with Bob. Oh, not with the drug. You fuck. You're not listening. That's not how. Yeah, I'm sure he's got more glasses on there. You know, Look at it, It's a lot of things to a lot of people. I'm just as much a victim of it as anybody else. Oh. But it's not my drug. It was never my drug. This is my drug. Oh. <laughs> A hustler. Here's something that you do have, okay? This is something that's going to sound like a little, but it's not. You have, for the moment, my gratitude. And that can be an asset. Hell, that can even have a value. You see, because I'm writing you a check right now in the amount $500. <laughs> I don't have to do this, okay? Oh. I don't pay finder's fees for ideas. God, okay. 500 bucks. Is he really writing him a $500 check? You see in the big picture here? Do you get me, Roderick? I get you. 
Okay, good. So maybe if you curb the fucking attitude, you shut your mouth and you listen for a minute, you will start to figure out that you have got an angle here. Angle that takes you closer to where you want to go. Or do you want to yell at me some more and find yourself out on the street? There you go. See, I knew you were a smart guy. Now, let's talk about your future here at Fortunato. Hmm? No, if you if you're seeing how he talks and how his mannerisms are, his voice are, it's exactly the it's, same. As it's, the yeah. same. Uh, yep. it's the same. Oh, I, I see where you're going here. So I think he he, he becomes him. Basically. Yeah, he becomes him. I've learned everything, and then yeah, I think you're right. I wonder if he was the one they did. Roderick was defiant, called them out, raised holy hell, came right at them, charged. What did it get you? Locked in the closet, mostly. Right. I went a different way. You kissed ass. <laughs> <laughs> Rufus Griswold is just Mrs. Muldoon in a nice suit. You charge him, you're in the closet, and he will brick you in there, too. And the more you fight, the more bricks he'll add until you're in your own tiny little tomb. That's a nice reference. I was a child, and she was a child of this kingdom by the sea. And we loved with a love that was more than a love. I and my Annabelle. With a love that the moon. Does she love poems? Is that why he always <laughs> keeps kind of spitting be. some kind of like. The one, well, because it says yeah. Annabelle Lee. Yeah. So that's. I mean, she wants to fix the air conditioner. He wants to own the air conditioning company. Yeah. You know, that's the level they're on. Oh. Looks <laughs> like he needs oh, so oh. oh. He still doesn't even look at his shirt. Yeah. Jesus God. Yeah. Yeah, now he uh, caught it. Yeah. Oh Jesus, whose blood is it? Oh. I was going to say, oh. I hope it's not his significant other. Yeah. I think it... Is it... Is it the woman he had in, maybe? Oh. Or? The cat? That's what I was <laughs> thinking. Oh, God. Boy, they're taking us on a ride here. Oh, that looks that's like right way the... too much blood to be... Oh. Yeah, it is. He's hoping to tell his guy the cat got away. Must have been let out, lie to him about it. But why did he do it at all? They feel like maybe she said something, but they can't remember what. Just felt they needed to get out. I don't like it. He started, He's starting uh, to put, put it, it together. together. Yep. Shocked her on your feet. I half thought you wouldn't be conscious again till tomorrow. Did you clean? You know I did. Yeah, I don't know. Grief's a funny thing, I guess. Keith just texted. Apparently Liam was an absolute mess when he got home last time. <laughs> oh, he was waiting for somebody to text him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, I cannot remember a fucking thing after Camille left. Nothing jumps out at you. Man, where's Pluto? <laughs> oh. I put a food bowl out, see? I, I, I put it out as soon as I woke up and I haven't, I haven't heard. Did we let her out by mistake? I oh, am. Yeah. Not again, oh, so it's, it's possible. Yeah. I'd love to see her. If that's okay. Mom? Oh. Oh, my. Mom, oh, oh, I don't know if I can. Oh, I don't know if I can watch this, man. Oh, she's ripping it all off. Oh, man. Nope. Mom, don't do that. Nope. Mom. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, oh, she is she's scratching at her own skin. Oh, my God. Oh, the... The way they faded it through the uh, through the plastic mm. was so cool. I mean, innovative, <laughs> innovative. So, um, listen, the doctor and I we reviewed your file, mm. and um, well, I recall you talking about your irregular heartbeat. I was gonna say, is she gonna appear in the back? Here? I've had a shit day, and I really just want to starfish and forget the world. She was what? You two have your work cut out for you. Camille, please don't talk to me until I've come at least twice. <laughs> Oops. She knows what she wants. It's okay, you got this. <laughs> that part of this is not happening anymore. Oh, I've got to hear this. Oh my God. You children. <laughs> You're in love. 
Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Toby and Tina makes me laugh. So at work, you're <laughs> fucking Tina. <laughs> Why is that so fucking Wow. Am I great? Oh. Katie's crushing it. What? This is her she episode. She's just nailing it this whole season. I'm just going to Venmo you your severance. Uh, well, we're not quitting. We just needed you to know. No, you're not quitting. You're fired because you're all but useless to me now. Can't perform your designated tasks. And I will not be able to either of you from here on out without <laughs> laughing. So <laughs> did you at least get the hookup on Vic? For real? Some like questions. Deal with it yourself. Thank you. I, I was hoping that they weren't going to. Yeah. Oh, he put his foot down a little bit. Been through a lot in the last day, whether you admit it or not. You're late. Oh, oh. shit. Oh. We work together all the time. She filled me in on everything, so I understand the gig. <laughs> I'm whoever you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you good? Or... I'm good. This works. <laughs> We're having dinner to start. There, uh, there you go. Thanks, awfully. <sighs> Wasn't she wearing that when her time came? Today was something else. And I don't know how to talk about it. I'm, I don't know how to feel. This fucked up tragedy and... I'm not sure how to feel about it. She's talking like how she would be doing how, yeah, yeah, how she would. Yeah. Yep. Let's not talk about Perry or... Oh! I just want to feel seen and do whatever we can to push the rest of that away. <laughs> and who knows? How was your day, Bill? My day? Uh, he never oh, gets asked. Yeah, he doesn't no. get asked. Finished two new videos two new episodes, and uh, honestly, God, I think we finally found our music supervisor. It is making all the difference. Is she going to cut it off? Cause she, yeah, because yeah. she never does mm, that. No, I think, nope. it's, nope. I think it's getting her even more. Yeah. Oh. Tell me all about it, love. <laughs> oh, so oh, I thought she was going to cut it off. I thought yeah. maybe it was all about him just asking her. Oh, what is... That's a nice parking job. No, she well, is the uh, boss, so. That's true. Shouldn't be here. Yep. Roger Gusher is my father. I understand. Shouldn't be here, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. I know Miss Lafourcade. And you work the night shift, which means that you know what she does to those poor animals in there. And also, she graces your palm and she walks by with her drippy Birkin bag full of monkey bits. Mm. And so unless you'd like me to audit your deposits and hold it up against your predictably humble salary, you're going to do the smart thing and go back to your crossword puzzle or else I'll have you fired and sued. What's a six-letter word for... F <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're the clever one. Oh, this is going to be good. Here. And you don't have to be here. Just giving her out. That's all I was saying. So Perry and Camille are the two that I've picked up on. She gave the outs to so far. Yep. And she left. Maybe. Uh, well. That was it. Yeah. She okay. was all the strut is done. Yep. She is had there going to be. I, I thought she was. What is going to happen to her? Is she going to get a. Attacked? Or oh, oh, is she going to get attacked by, by one of the chimps? There's a restraint that's empty. <sighs> Door's going to lock too, isn't it? That's totally what's going to happen. It's not... Because she was all beaten and yeah, battered and bloody. Ripped, ripped up on her face. Yeah. We it's thought it magically was magically unlock. And, and we thought it was a car accident yeah. on the way back. Yeah, I thought it was going to be... Oh, uh, did, oh, see? Damn it, that got me. <laughs> that didn't get me quite as bad. God damn it. God though. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that? I don't know. Oh, got, watch no. it reach out and pull her in. Yeah. Oh, they're full of adrenaline. Yeah. Oh, oh I ain't going to like that. That door's coming off. Now the music is picking up. Oh, oh no. it's opening. Just happened to open. Oh, baby, so. Why do you hate her? <laughs> oh, oh, no. You know how many animals are used for testing in a year? Gosh, she's different in every More scene. More than a hundred million. Got Carla, you got to use her, you know? I love how 
deliciously, pointlessly mean you lot can be. Okay, fired is the wrong word, because I'm going to have you f***ing killed. Oh! Oh, what the f*** is uh, that? You hate her because she hit it better. Oh, it's going to be the heart. Oh, She's sounding like the chimps. She's getting riled up. Right. You know, she lies and she pumps us full of adrenaline to make it look like it works. It's like if the chimps could talk. You still didn't need to come here, though. <gasps> Again. Quiet, peaceful, in bed. Oh. But, uh, I guess it's got to happen like this. <laughs> oh. It's not personal. Wasn't with your brother either. Oh. Here we are. I got mine. <gasps> oh! What a reveal. That was the one that was out of the cage and she was, oh, that was oh, so good. That was so cool the way they did that. Oh, Phil no. took the night oh, off. Oh boy, here we go. Oh. Find her. Oh. oh, just shredded. Uh. Oh. oh, and you guys wonder why I don't like them. Chimps and monkeys. After oh, two. <laughs> what a banger. God, this is so easily the best show of all of them. Oh, they're doing it again. Damn it. I missed it. Sorry, guys. Let's go. I missed it. <laughs> Just the cat we're hearing. Oh, no. Yeah, I missed Come it. On. I was too late. This damn counter in this stupid ass mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Diamond Dave's huh. having a hard night, folks. It's been not a good night <laughs> for the tech. Uh, for well, you, at least for we're me, watching Captain Laserhawk. Yeah. Wow. What an episode. That was a oh, straight up banger. Was, oh, the show is so good. I said after the, only the oh. second episode that this was my absolute uh, favorite in the Flatterverse. <laughs> and this episode did not disappoint. The, the delivery of the lines that these actors are doing is just so phenomenal. The story is incredible. All the little things they do, like uh, Diamond Dave, you caught it, how Roderick essentially became his boss. And I think the, Rufus. the four of us have an idea of what might have happened on new year's uh, eve with the uh, roderick's hands all kind of beat up a little bit yeah this is kind of think we can all kind of have our theories about how they were trying to set things up there but the the end scene there with camille was just incredible and the way they played that off was just so good the suspense was incredible i mean verna is just like the the character of the year i oh, mean God. She is so incredible, and the way she's different in every single uh, situation that she's in, she plays off a different accent, she plays off a different character, and it's just so good. Um, the the only thing that I wrote down, and it's <laughs> I, it's I, silly, I want it to, is but silly I can't. because you know, but I did like how they approach this from a realistic standpoint of like look a big monster pharmaceutical company can grease the skids of whoever they have to and that whole uh dialogue that roderick had about the lemons and how you make them a commodity oh and God, how you make yourself great. you know wealthy that was just incredible and it's like you're listening to it and you're like yep Yep, that that sounds right. Makes yep, sense. that's Makes that's sense. Yep, that's perfect. That's exactly what I think happened with you know any big multinational corporation or whatever it might be, and uh, just an absolute home run of an episode. Uh, you guys uh, are always really good about not having any spoilers in the comments, so I can't wait to dive into those those comments and just read what you guys thought about this episode because for me it was just phenomenal uh yeah carla is just amazing <laughs> in this she is just crushing it from changing characters to even the the dinner with built where she's you know being her and like asking God, him and then asked him about his day and it like 
flip the switch on him, and then just even with uh, with Pim going in and trying to fix the whole party afterthought. And then, um, so when he was talking about building up the wall and like you, so you you put yep. him in. Was that an Edgar? That Allen was an Edgar Allan Poe. Yes, because yeah. I remember because yep. remember he ends it with throwing a match in there. And some say to take the oxygen. No, I always said, which I got an extra credit point in English <laughs> class back in the day, was that because he wanted him to see his own demise. His old demise, yeah. So, and he would never scream for him. Either. Yep, yep. And it, this, anyways. And then even her assistants, you know, quitting on her and everything, and just like, because they're in love, as we <laughs> like to say, and like how she went ape shit about it and then so then she goes to the lab and where carla again we saw verna give them their out their pride they're their too pride prideful they're t- too idiotic uh, whatever you want to throw in there and then also zach going in there and taking the brow beating from the from, i'm giving you an opportunity like that speech too was just great and yeah i, I i'm sucked into this i'm, I'm loving so this, good. this show i'm surprised that mike flanagan went as hard as he did against the diamond industry oh yeah um with uh yeah. with roderick's speech i mean look the, the whole thing is look it's very clearly like uh not painting the pharmaceutical in, in uh industry in a in a very bright light which Look, uh, we don't need to get into that too much, but I think that's that's already out there a lot. But uh, the diamond industry, of course, stuff with conflict-free diamonds, that's kind of made its way front and center. But if you don't know the history of the diamond industry, basically what he did there uh, was gave an explanation. Diamonds for engagement rings didn't used to be a thing. And then this brilliant marketing campaign told somebody, well, if you love them, you have to buy them a shiny rock. Oh, De Beers. Only, and only this shiny rock. And then De Beers owns a... Oh, my God. So if, if you don't know the history of the diamond industry that's what he was saying is basically how the diamond industry is well for more or less a sham um <clears throat> still is uh, in any regard um phenomenal episode oh. i mean the the, the the delivery of the lines in this the crew that he's chosen and, you, and you, it's, it's interesting right because he keeps using the same people and you feel like okay it's the same people it's the same cast is it gonna feel like it's the old story and the answer is no never it's like in in fact it's almost brilliant you know like i've got this core group of actors who are so talented that i can say this is your role this is your role this is your role and as long as we can kind of fit them into it they're gonna nail it and that's what's happening here we saw um kate siegel in um she was really good in you know obviously um in hill house she was phenomenal um, in Midnight Mass, I mean, the, the, the beach scene, incredible. But her delivery here as just somebody cold. Now, she was cold as Theo in Hill House, but this is like savage business, PR, just I mean, she cold. she emotion in, as Theo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, and just, so this is like, it's crazy She showed how, like a small glimpse. It's crazy yeah. how talented she yeah, is. Ingrid's. And even though we've seen her in different roles, it's so incredible how good she is. Zach Guilford as as Roderick, young Roderick, his presentation in the boardroom with the boss, absolutely phenomenal. Um, Leo's character, just <laughs> like what with She's the cat? So I mean, oh this my is, God. Uh, the, the acting and, and look, the Bruce Green- Greenwood as Roderick Usher is, I, and I've seen him in stuff before and he's good, right? Like we mm-hmm. know he's good, but he is just, like Netflix shows are can go up for Emmys, right? I think it, yeah. they have to yeah. submit them, but they yeah. can they can go for. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, look, if if this cast doesn't like win all of it, <laughs> well, we're three episodes in, and it's like just let's just give them oh, sure. the Emmys because the acting here is just it's just so so brilliant. Um, I love that they. Sh- I shouldn't say I loved. I found it very interesting and captivating how they showed the demise of a different child who was very selfish in their own ways Mm -hmm. um, and was also the interesting thing that I find is the first two to go are the ones that are kind of like seemingly very actively going after their siblings. Mm -hmm. Remember we saw um, Perry, Perry, um, we saw him go after his, his brother. It's not going by age, is it? Camille isn't no. the second youngest No, I think Dave's like on that. something. Like uh, how, yeah. the, the first, let's take out the real Yeah, like ones. they're going after the infighting. Yeah. Like like Perry was going and, you know, he was, he was like, 
you know, first he was completely ignoring, you know, the, the family's, you know, well-being with even having something there. Uh, you know, grand, or your dad didn't want the club thing. But then he really went, you know, south and invited his brother's wife and stuff with full intentions of, you know, getting with her. And so he's out. And now you have the next sibling who wants to go after her other sibling for the trials and stuff like that. Um, it's 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 interesting. Um, the the character of Verna. I mean, what a uh, just an incredibly dynamic actress that she's. You know, oh, so uh, good. Like her. And the thing is, she's playing different characters mm -hmm. even within this show. Like yep. right, her character is you know the Grim Reaper, whoever you want to call it, but she plays you know these different roles. You know, she sat down and was the the, the wife. You know, the last role we saw her in the you know the private room with, with perry just you know kind of doing her thing and now we saw her in that just epic scene where she was in that that room with the chimpanzees and jumping up on the table and and, and delivering those incredible lines i just the story is phenomenal and look i know they have great source material with edgar yeah, Allan Poe. Right. i mean so obviously they've they've had some good stuff to work on but i i just can't say enough about the writing and the the, the line delivery that we've seen here so far it's it's absolutely incredible and it look, we're only three episodes in and it's so so good <laughs> yeah shout out to uh justina ireland and of course mike flanagan for their their writing in this episode uh you guys really put a good one together i mean as dave was saying we're only three episodes in and we still got five more to go <laughs> That's good. and we still need to see four more kids say sayonara and uh potentially uh, good old old man Roderick himself. I will say this was Katie's episode, hands down. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, Bruce Greenwood, you crushed it on your scene. I, oh. I was waiting to see when we were going to get those uh, dialogues of there was no cut from the camera. Yep. Just let them deliver as many lines as they can in one take and then see what happens but uh yeah i mean and then carla you you're rocking this you'll never see this but you are rocking this <laughs> yeah. uh so far like i'm glad now that we're getting more of her in, yeah. Uh, instrumental yeah, the seeds yeah that are being now it's, it's i mean we're yeah we're three episodes in so yeah i'm sure we got to start seeing her more to kind of speed up the process mm -hmm. of the uh the the mdks i'll just pull from demolition man there on the kids <clears throat> Uh, because the way she is pulling, uh, I just love the chances. Like, you don't have to go there. Yep. You don't have to. But she did pretty much lay out you're going one way or another. Either peace, you could have went peacefully in your sleep, yep. but we're here now it's and it's going to happen. So fine. it almost sounds like, yeah, now that we're thinking about it and saying that out loud, it almost sounds like on paper it's an out but it's not she just told her well this could have been done peacefully no yeah. i think she was saying she could have figured it out peacefully in her bed at home i thought i well okay so that's no the, that's I, I, the, I think i think i think when she's saying like I, she's the grim reaper she is going to deliver death to somebody this could yeah. have been peaceful yeah. you going in your bed now i t i wasn't sure if that meant like an od or later in life but i think that I, i'm oh. in that that could be as well but i i'm on the same page as dave i feel like when she says she's the person who brings death and she was saying you know what you had the opportunity to go peacefully but you chose yeah to stay instead here. now it's violence that you uh you got and now i'm real intrigued to see how the other ones do go because obviously all six are gone yep so now i'm like when i see carla like oh how is she how is she gonna do yeah. it like what what's the key here because she let perry do it now this was kind of like her telling the monk I got the vibe it was all her telling the monkeys to go go to town here and do it but uh, it again one monkey <laughs> yeah well one 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 chimp and uh guy yeah this was just phenomenal kudos just, to everyone in this episode I want to know about the mom if she's going to what she's going to do oh, after being all oh, we're going to get that we're yeah. definitely going to get that yeah. can we take just 2 seconds to talk about that shot where it was Verna on the table and then she took out her camera, and when she took out her camera to take the picture, it was that was genius. Chimp. Chimp. Well, because I mean, right, was, yeah, Carla was it, in the monkey. Yeah, yeah. she was acting position, like it. Yeah, acting yeah, like yeah. it. But I didn't think, oh, pull up a phone and bam, It'll it's that. a monkey. Yeah, the way she but, jumped up on the table gave me a little yeah. bit of a. Well, for me, it was when she showed obviously the chest. Yeah, yeah. Was so, yeah. Well, well she's talking to her as herself, and then at the picture is when she changed. Yeah. And that's the phenomenal thing with this series is that we kind of know, I mean, they, they gave it away in the first episode what 
will happen and what we will see throughout the series, but yet it's done so well. You're still on the edge of your seat That's just waiting for it. Like, oh, is this, how, how's this going to play? How's this going to go? What's this character going to do? And you know what's going to happen. You know all <laughs> the kids are done. End, you know yeah. the end result. Have you guys yeah. seen, and I know this, this, if you've seen it, you know. Uh, have you guys seen, have you all seen Hot Tub Time Machine? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's a classic. Okay, so it's like when we're waiting for dude to Lugal. lose the, the arm. arm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you just, every, is this it? <laughs> Is this it? 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 I know that's a very loose connection. It's a tough time machine. Yeah. Of all well, no, it's like when you know but something yeah. is going to happen <laughs> and you're waiting to hear the story right. of how. And you get yeah. a lot of teasers because I think yeah. I think they teased it pretty well here. Well, that look at Leo. Leo thought it was a car crash. Leo yeah. partying, you know, maybe yeah. something was going to happen. Or she was messed up and they very clearly showed her like, okay, she's going to get going. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a car crash because the flashback mm -hmm. he had, it looked like what happened to her face. Right, it's like an accident. So it's like you, you know what's gonna happen, yep. but they're teasing you. So that was the connection that I made. It silly was was <laughs> hot tub for time, hot time, time machine. I know. Well, Quinn, I'm trying oh, okay. <laughs> because I want to. I, I want to get the actress's name well, right, and uh, I'm afraid that I won't. Well, folks, we've had a ton of tech issues, so this might not. Now I lost the mouse, so yeah. I mean, David's <laughs> mouse is about as good as Perry's party. Yeah, there, it's right up there. But the other thing that I want to touch on is the actress who uh, was so incredibly sympathetic. Uh, was it Crystal, right? Oh, yeah, Mor yeah. Mor Mor Morel's the mom that's in the bed. Yeah. Okay. So her role was really good, but where where is she? And who are you talking about? Is, is it uh, uh, Victorine? Is that who? Vic, right? The 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 woman who who does the hearts is that? Yeah. Vic? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was Vic? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to make sure I got it right. The thing that I love with her character, I'm gonna try to make this quick because I was babbling. Apologies. Yeah, we got like a minute. Um, <laughs> I love her character because she comes off as like a very loving and caring character, and you're almost sympathetic for her until you realize what she's doing. She's pushing through mm -hmm. these processes that aren't proving the experimenting on the chimps, uh, and she's trying to say that her unproven heart device is good to go and she's going to try it on a human subject out of her own greed and vanity to try to appease her father. I thought that's just brilliant how she's such yeah. a lovable character doing something so terrible. Yeah, I'm sure we forgot something because there was so much dialogue. But I, yeah. I still love Bilt. The best. <laughs> I keep seeing Pat McAfee when I look at that guy. <laughs> hey, I can see it too. Three down, five to go. We cannot wait. So for Diamond Dave, that's Ableton Oak. That's of course Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. We'll Catch you on the next one, pals. R.I.P. Pluto.